Good morning. It is 5.40. I'm just getting ready to leave. We're heading back to the job we started yesterday. We're going to pour the colored and stamped patio. We're going to put a nice border around it. We're going to pour the side stoop and then a step addition in the front. And then at noon, we're going to pour part of the driveway up until it meets the patio. That's just the way that we have to do it. Um, because you know the patios the placement of the patio we're not able to pour more of the driveway so tomorrow we'll pour the rest of the driveway but today we'll get part of it done so i have a couple shout outs so several shout outs this morning start out with my hat that is airboat madness and that comes from dl gudger and he is from palm bay florida sorry if i messed up your last name but I appreciate the hat and good luck to you and your business in the future. And then also the Ravinsky's, there's their information there. He did send me a couple gifts and they are also from Florida, from Spring Hill, Florida. They're realtors. So good luck to you as well. Then we have the McCormick's and they sent Annie a Cuban link <laughs> uh, a collar. And this is... Uh, not gold, obviously, but it is metal and it's heavy. I tried to put this on Annie and Annie was not having it. She was going crazy, but I thank you for that. And we will set that up somewhere as a display for her. And they also sent a coloring book for Daniel about the garbage man. And speaking of garbage man, uh, apparently in New York City, uh, they call them Department of Sanitation Workers, a little bit more fancy of a term. But honestly, they are the garbage man. So Eric is a retired supervisor. He started out as a garbage man and he retired as a supervisor. And he sent me a couple of the New York City patches. So these are very cool and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Eric. That is awesome. And then I got a card here from, uh, it doesn't say their last names or where they're from, but from Craig and Ian. And I wanted to say thank you for that. It says, speak softly and carry a big stick unless you ride a dinosaur, then do that instead. I appreciate that very much. And then uh, lastly, I have this. This comes from David, and David sent me a really cool sign, easy money. So I will put this in my office or maybe in the new merchandise shed. All right, well, uh, I'm going to take this trash out, and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. It's not a gorgeous day here in Wisconsin. We had that rain yesterday, but that wasn't much, and it's dry. Cooled off a little bit today. It's going to be in the mid to upper 70s, so not too hot just right so i gotta go put my work boots on and head out good morning how are you good getting a big old coke for breakfast come on you you were getting on me in the line about my diet and look at you how's business it's picking up. Now. Is it? That's it's good to hear, man. Good this week. All right. How are you today, Brad? Good. How are you, Lisa? Great. Hello. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, have a great day. All right. See you next time. It is 6:28. Just pulling into the yard, and I saw that everyone's here except for Tino. Tino texted me last night, and I don't know. He's got some kind of situation. He just said he couldn't work today, so. I'll talk to him later about it, see what's going on there, but that's okay. I honestly feel like I honestly feel like I have one guy too many now that my son and Francisco are here. So, I really don't mind that. Save a little bit of money on payroll. That's okay. Whoa. What you doing? Did they yell at you last night? No. Oh, Ryan's here. What's up, Bugs? Oh, I know. The two guys closest to the shop are the last two here, man. I was at the new land. I had to check something out. Morning, Big Morning. Ray. <laughs> How we doing? Good. How are you? Why are you so much duct tape? Man. I'm trying to do a good job, boss. All right. Morning, Eric. What's up? You ready? Okay. Um, I don't really think we need a dump truck at all. We're just We're pouring. pouring the pad, the two little stoops. All right, well, we can go. If you two want to ride with me or whatever, that's fine. 
Are you hooked to the trailer? You're hooked up? All right, he's hooked up. There they are, they're at the very bottom. So we need all these. These like this, which are the next like four, five. Ah, uh, yeah, put them in my truck, it'll be better. <laughs> this is the release, I believe. Which we don't have any. It's like no release left. This is an old release. Hopefully it's still good. Let's see. That's not good, man. How do you know? Right here. How much is in there? A lot. Okay, we'll bring that one then. This one smells good. Oh, it smells good. I mean, I think it's okay. Oh, we got plenty in here. We need them two strips with the texture. Where did I set those? Yeah, we, I put the, the red ones. The ones you gave me? The long, the yeah, long, yeah, the, the two-footers? Yeah, the two They're in there? Yeah, the red Okay. Ones. All right, I think we're good then. Hey, this is Ryan from Victory. Yeah. I got an 8 o'clock order. Give me six yards, six and a half bag, low chert, air, microfiber, five inch lump, and then put a half a percent NCA. All right, thank you. Thank you. But You know what I say now, Ray? Concrete's order. Yep. Concrete's order. Morning. How are you today? Great, how are you? Day. Beautiful day. Glad to see you back. Yep. You didn't quit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You didn't pay me yet. Of course I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, hey, I just gotta tell you, everybody know something funny? What's that? Today's garbage day. All right, garbage yeah. man. There you go. Good morning. Hi. Coffee and cookies again for me, guys. All right. Help yourself with coffee. Coffee's here. Yeah. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Very yeah, kind. I actually canceled concrete. I would have. No, we did, yeah. yeah I yeah. cleared a lake or something. That's what we're doing, but we wanted to stop here for cookies and coffee first. <laughs> Just as long as you take me with you to the lake, I'm fine with that. Oh, we're good. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Now it'll be 23 years and one day she's waiting for the concrete. <laughs> Can you grab the setup stuff? Nails, hammer, pins, all that, because we got to set shut off. Okay. Set shut off. Uh, grab a string line, all that stuff. Hey, are you opposed to making this a little bigger? Well, you're gonna. Some of it's gonna be a border, anyways, right? Well, yeah. So. What I like to do is make it half the distance between the garage and the house. I'm not opposed to that at all. Okay, because then the joints are going to be even. That's what I have in my mind is how the joints are going to look. That's, you know what? That's why I hired you. We'll go with that then. We'll go 196. I got enough concrete ordered. I ordered extra, so we'll mesh. I want to. We mesh the whole driveway. Right now, it's a lot easier for the buggy to drive on. <laughs> <laughs> Ray said, what? he said the blade is wobbling and he gave us an example of what it's doing. This one can get set right now. Oh, you brought out the super hammer? I don't like it. I like it. You guys fighting already? Yeah, it's only 7 a.m. Put one more there, because the ground is not holding the pins that great in between those two. I'm trying to figure out joints and how they're going to end up, because the driveway goes up and then it turns and goes that way. It's just a little, little tricky to figure out what's going to look best. I'm not worried about function. They're going to be small squares. I'm just trying to figure out what's going to look best and it's only eight feet wide down here concrete's here is she bothering you oh okay i'm sorry yeah she don't bother you, but she does get excited she'll start jumping on you <laughs> but she's nice she if she jumps just say no she watches videos for you guys all the time oh your nephew yeah, yeah that's he, funny he said he was gonna stop by today and see if he could say hi of course he can <laughs> yeah of course he can 
No, don't jump. She's still learning not to jump. Okay. She goes up like that all the time. Yeah, it's just when people get around, she gets really excited. I told them to send their best driver, here you are. <laughs> Bam. You gotta, you gotta correct something though. What's that? When you asked me how many years I was here, yeah? I gave up 44. Yeah? It's only 24, now it's 25. 25 years. 25 years. I said 44? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I would've the known better spinning, than that. Yeah. Oh. You look back on the, on the videos. It was, oh. Well, you look young still. That, that won't even be possible. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what you got. Oh, wet and gray. Huh? Wet and gray. Yeah, yeah, it's wet and gray. That's good. It's a good start. We can roll with that. That looks good. All right, Ray, you're the buggy man. We're ready when you're ready. Yes, sir. New boots, Ryan? Yeah. Where's your old tidy whiteies? He threw them out. Yeah. Concrete's here. He ain't gonna help at all. Yeah, I am. I'm staying out of your way. Okay. That'll work. Go grab plastic. I don't want to deal with that the whole way. Make sure you pull the wire up. You got a knifey? Let's go. You got a knife, Francisco? Yep. Dump it over there so it don't splash again. Down a little bit. Okay. You're too close. Back up just a little. Yeah. You want that? Yeah, my arms are like pistons, so move. Pistons? Woo! Yeah, right. Go with him and put like three more sheets of plywood on the buggy and bring it up here. The buggy's smashing it. We need more plywood right here. He caught it right here, that's why. And none of it's tied, so. That's good. Where are you going with our cookie? I'm refilling them. Okay, we're good. It's refilling them. They are good, I had six of them. Six? Six? Half a dozen for bugs? Dunking them in coffee? right now and they were so good. It don't get no better than dunking them in coffee, man. A bird's eye view from up there. I know it's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, I should. Maybe I will when we stamp it. I'll put a camera up there. Yeah, we're pouring obviously this, and then we're gonna pour just up to there this after at noon. So this will be done, and then tomorrow we'll do two pours and finish everything else. Well, this is a this is a really small pour for us. But I have to do the stamping first. There's really no other good option, you know. Right. Technically, it could be done, but it would be a, it would be a scramble. I mean, we're not really in a rush because I got so much money for this job. We could be here for a month. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Easy, Ray. Easy. Ray got too much already. He did. He daydreams when he's using the buggy. He doesn't pay attention. No, I'm serious. He wait for instructions. No, he waits to get yelled at that he got too much. Then he knows to stop. Yeah. yeah. I told the guys he's always daydreaming about if he should try that new conditioner for his beard he's seen on the internet. Okay, all the concrete's in. Very easy, of course. Not a lot of concrete. It's only, was it six yards or something like that? Dump it. 
Dump it in your beard. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. I, I thought we were one more. I didn't know. I should have asked. I was thinking about it when I was right here. I was like, should I ask? I think we're gonna do more. When a thought like that comes in your head, I you should, should ask. just ask. Because well, this keeps happening, you know? And we need to stop that from happening. Because I don't really want all this concrete in my grade. Yeah. I really don't. Because we already graded to five inches. You start adding concrete, now it's going to four inches and maybe less. So just come and dump it on this plywood and you're gonna you'll shovel it onto the truck later when it's harder. It's one way to learn is to make hard work for yourself and you think about it next time, hopefully. I got this square guy. You got it? <laughs> it looks high. Yeah, I know. No, it is high. I know. The form's high. Oh, the form? Yeah, look. Oh yeah. You gotta be down. That's really bad. I'll just let it set up now for a while. Just trying to figure out these joints, which is not easy. It's got a lot of stuff going on here. The driveway's not straight. Kind of offset everything. This looks like it's gonna work pretty good though. All right, this is the best I can figure out what's gonna look the best. A couple of these lines aren't gonna be parallel. Cause your driveway's crooked, you know what I mean? It goes this way and then it goes that way. So not everything's gonna be perfect with the joints. It just, it can't. But I'm gonna get it the best I can possibly make it look. I'm gonna make it look as best as I can. Nothing lines up. No, nothing lines up. You know? So you just kind of offset a little here and a little there and, and pick a median. Just running strings up so I can see what it, it'll look like. So I don't do something I regret when the concrete's on the ground. I'm gonna cheat this one over halfway. Get it in the middle. 12 inches i'm gonna go six inches more this way and then visually try to blend it yeah i'm trying to blend a weird situation yeah that'll be fine yeah that looks good I man it looks mint yep that looks good there if you want my opinion <laughs> we're going with that because it's gonna look funny on the outside because like you say it kicks out and it kicks yeah but from the road it's gonna look beautiful too Right. And you know, I already looked at it from the road, so I got it to where I'm really happy with it now. Is concrete setting up at all yet, or what? Come on, mud. Eh, that's setting up a little bit. Gonna shovel it up now? Oh, yeah. All right, it's only a quarter yard. That's so nothing for a man by, like you. Was... All this, all this concrete. Oh, my God. These goodness. are, this is brand new. Like, yeah, I just right. bought it, and it's got all concrete all over it. There's Look concrete. Yeah, so put a piece of plastic here do and that. hang it down so when you shovel it up, it, it doesn't hit all that. We got to clean that off with something too at some point. Just for a little buy, you would love it. <laughs> oh, I know, I would love <laughs> I would love them, yeah. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, Ryan would have been in like six or eight minutes. Oh, at least, yeah. If, if I wasn't on a diet. I seen that one video where you were making love to the brownies. Brownie? <laughs> yeah, the brownie. Oh, man. Those brownies look so good. I give you credit, dude. I couldn't do it. And then Bugs was like describing how they tasted. <laughs> yeah, and the... yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I was like, thanks, Bugs. He's like, oh, they're so gooey and they're crunchy on the outside. And I was like, oh, thank you. Do you have a blanket that we could put over the back of this car? Because I don't want to put plastic because, you know, plastic kind of rubs the paint. But if you have like an old sheet or a blanket, that would be really ideal. So we're just waiting for the slab to set up. It's gonna be a pretty easy day today, which is good. Last week was pretty rough. I was wore out by the end of last week, to be totally honest. But I'm feeling fresh now. Concrete's just about ready. Bugs is gonna take the, he likes doing curbs. Bugs is gonna take the curb and get that all perfect. And then uh, other guys will go down here and I'll stamp right behind them. Concrete's at noon. It's a real small pour, nine yards. I'm gonna probably order 10. Got a thick edge over there, and the concrete's about five and a quarter inches. I measured. Don't go nowhere, bug. Do you want do you want to finish and then how do you want to do this, bugs? I'm just I was just gonna come across and do this. Okay, because I gotta put a joint in there too. Do you want to finish it and then I'll put the joint and then somebody else can come back down it? Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna cut a border all the way around here, make it look pretty cool. All right, Eric. Yes, 
Come and fix up this corner, Eric. Make it easier on yourself later. All right, one more once Bugs gets off there. I got one more to cut down this way. As soon as he gets off, we'll snap a line. And then you guys will have to get on it right away. You can finish the border, Eric. Because I'll texture that first before I stamp the middle. You got a joiner, Francisco? You got to run it again. All right. Yeah, just get it nice and cleany. Yep. Ryan, you got to stay, stay with Eric the same speed so you're not done. And then he comes across with his mag and leaves a different kind of marking. You probably have to wait a little while for Eric, you know. Ray, when you, after you wash it, come take these long pins out that are holding this in here. At least most of them. Leave a couple. Throw me your mag, Ryan. It's got like stuff on here for some reason. Got it. I don't want to hack this because the guy is actually literally watching us. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> She's not up there. Yeah, Rapunzel. Up there. Huh? Yeah. Rapunzel. <laughs> But she's got short hair though. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, take most of those out. Just leave one in the middle, one on the end. It's getting there. This don't look bad with hair. Huh? You got a margin saw or something? Yeah, I have one in my in my box over there. Here's that back. Wow, Ryan has nice tools. Margin trowel. All right, I'm gonna start hitting the border here. Bubble gum. Yeah, Ray loves this stuff. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. We'll keep going. Red in the eyes. Hey, can you give me that other one? Uh, Francisco, spray some juice on that and then give that one to me too. I'm gonna go right all the way across. Juice is right behind you. We get our 45 degree angle mark. And then we're ready to go. I'm gonna start in that corner where the sun was beating. <laughs> Grab me one of them textures. I gotta step out here at a texture. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get this. But, but don't cover up that little score mark. Put it like this on this kind of angle. But don't cover up that line because I gotta see that. Yeah, we always eat lunch. I'm sure we will. Some that, of these guys can't go without lunch if you look okay. at them. Yeah. <laughs> Taco truck. Taco truck. Oh, uh, probably like 1130. Yep. Okay. Would so be good. Of of sure. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you. The topic of taco comes up and then I'm all on my own as far as work. They're all discombobulated thinking about tacos. Oh. <sighs> Hung with yeah. hair? Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, yeah. Eric wants hairy tongue tacos. <laughs> I'll take extra grease. Thank you. Oh, so One more question. Ooh. Corn, tortilla, or flour? Always corn.
Garbage man! Nice work! He's, <laughs> he's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> and they were looking at me like I'm weird. Yeah. <laughs> He just he just stared at me. <laughs> he hates his job. <laughs> He's like, what? He's like, nobody loves us. This turned out super nice. Just finishing up the corners and edges with the roller. This needs to come off immediately so we can get rods in here before it gets too hard and it starts cracking it. Just, just making sure all the joints are perfect. So when you put the color on there, the color has somewhere to go. You can't really grind these big joints. I guess you kind of could, but it'd be more work because they're wide and they have texture. All right, this patio is done. It looks super nice with the border around it. I'm going to use the Easy Teak <laughs> color on it. We're just going to do that gray like we did at my house in that other patio we did a couple weeks ago. It looks good though. You like the magnetic stamps? I don't really even use them yet. Didn't you just see me use them though? No, I was finishing the little thing. Oh, that big step in the front? I better go check it. I have to make sure you did a good job. I might have to redo it. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. You got a little hole right here. Good work. Wait, come over here. Oh, no. No, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, <laughs> good work! Oh. Don't break your back. It's not that light no, he's not. How do you like 180? Yeah. 180. Hey, I'm at let's get this 80. stuff out of here. So when lunch gets here, we can actually just chill. What do you think, Jade? You just chilling today? Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, it's, hey, it's Ryan. I have my 12 o'clock. I want to get that going for. Ten and a half yards. Yeah, same place, same way. You got it. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. You bet. Bye. Concrete's ordered. Well, it's about nine plus the thickened edge. I ordered ten and a half. Concrete's like five and a quarter inches, five and a half. So I ordered a little strong, so we don't have a problem. Hey, bring your. You got an edger and a hammer. Bring an edger and a hammer, and a and your broom and your mag. The only thing he didn't do that I don't like is uh, he didn't edge the vertical face. Whenever you have two surfaces that come together, you should edge it. It makes it look a lot, a lot cleaner. When I signed for uh, it looked good. I just wanted to edge on it. Really now, you like it? Yeah, it's good. Ray, we're done with the bumper. We're done with the rollers. No, we're not snapping anything else. All right, I'm putting it away. Okay then. The whole thing here? What you said? You're going over and above. Again? Same same guys I go back out there. They're like this. What a lunatic. I see it. Garbage man! I think they're just happy to see us. Like these are the first guys that gave us recognition in 20 years. Let's hit their route again. See, that's the style I like, the guys that ride on the back. That's what I want to do. I want to ride on the back. Did you hear him? Yeah! Good work! <laughs> he said to the other guy, he said to the other guy, those guys act like they never seen the garbage man before. <laughs> that's what he said. Did you hear him? <laughs> hey, I should run, up, run down the street after him like every stop and every time they do it be like yeah and run to the next house yeah we should go like all the way yeah, down the street the trucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh every stop is oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we get arrested <laughs> what are you in for uh we were stalking the garbage man <laughs> stalking imagine a judge you like what were you guys thinking? <laughs> we have nothing else to do. Yeah, I know. We were raving for concrete, man. It, Offended. He don't, he don't know how much you like garbage. Man. I know. He thinks we're just joking. I'm serious. Look at, look at Big Ray's pile. We need a little sign. Maybe I'll make one. 
Big Ray. Look, look at Big Ray's it's pile. Big Ray. Make sure we see that on the video. <laughs> oh, we will. I want to see we that. never we get that will. big. That's <laughs> one of the bigger Watch ones. That That's one That's of the bigger ones. Look, 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 yeah. look, give me credit. I thought you guys were going to pour more. That was the little bit. Yes. I was like, what is this? Then understand what the job is before we start. Hey, yeah, huh? you can ask. I didn't know we were going to stamp. They're coming back. They're coming back. Oh, no. They're bringing their straps. They're bringing their straps. Do it for the camera. Let's jump. Do it for the camera. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. 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 Yeah! Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Ryan. Oh! Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, I just did a shout out this morning to a New York garbage man. He, he sent me a patch. Oh, yeah. They don't call themselves garbage men in New York. They call themselves sanitary, sanitary workers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's fancy. That's like oh, fancy. Oh, wow. You got a banquet set up, too. Man. Hi, Jade. No, are they? Are they coming again? Yeah. No way. <laughs> they like the <laughs> One more time for good measure. <laughs> Is it a different guy? Garbage man! Oh, woo! woo! Hey! <laughs> he acted like he acted like it was nothing. Like they always get yeah. recognition. He was like, "Yeah, what's up? What's up?" He's like, "What's up, fans?" <laughs> He thought we were all sitting in the yard for him, <laughs> waiting to come by. That's like the sixth time the garbage man came through. She's here. Nice back room. Everybody's trying to give my mom a run for her money now. Yeah. Remember the last job too? Oh yeah. Grandma. And hey, now and now look. Diet Dr Pepper. They didn't have a bottle. Oh, that's fine. Oh. Here you go. I'm gonna let you grab. Yeah, I was trying to hold Jade back here. Thank you. She'll have a mouthful of tacos in a flash. Look, Eric. Ah, she hooked me up. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for lunch, brother. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you guys. It's very kind of you. Thank you, man. So. Is this all a lot? This is mine. Yeah, you got a special one? No, I got two. Oh. Yeah. Woo! We got plates here too. What's the name of the place you got this from? It's right on the corner. Taqueria El Toro. Taco Rio El Toro? Yeah. Man. Hey. Hey. No. Go lay down. Jade, you're going to get the jalapeno. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man, our, tr our customers treat us right. Like Just really the good. Back, back of the yeah, that's right. That's the new terms and conditions. <laughs> Lunch every day. <laughs> 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 Must have water. And Gatorade. <laughs> and Diet Dr. Pepper. Concrete's here. All right. One more pour today. Early. Early again. Yeah, 15 minutes early, which is fine because we're ready. The driver said it's going to be stiff. We'll add a little water. That's all right. Yeah, how many got on? Six? Five? Five? It's just, uh, yeah, give it three gallons. Okay. Thank you. First truck's empty. I'm gonna go this way with the bull float, and then hopefully in about 20 minutes I'll be able to stand on the concrete we poured this morning. I'll go the other way. This has got an expensive classic car in the garage, and I don't even want to mess around with the poles. Once we get to here, I can go both ways. I just don't want to mess around with that car right there. Look how many pillows he put on it just to make sure we don't damage it. 
He's got pimples everywhere on it. Got the whole kit. Uh, I got the whole sala. He's sofas. ready for a tank to hit it. Yeah. You got plenty of pillows on the car. I think it's good. I'm the lightest guy, so I can walk on it, but you guys got to wait a while. I spent pretty much all morning working on that pin and Ray hits it. I set my pin there for the center joint, which took me like half the morning to figure out. I'm exaggerating, of course, but it did take me a while. And then Ray just smashed it with the buggy. I think it's still pretty close though. He bent it back up. Always the last buggy full. I think you're real close there. You got enough down here? We don't have any any extra. That edge is good. This edge is. No, he said it's all gone. No way. He's done. No, he's got more. Just get a couple. Get a couple. Put in the plywood. All right. Well, concrete's down. Both loaded. They're edging it up right now. All right, last line, snapping it with Eric. One this way and that's it. It's setting up pretty good in the sun over here. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be long. It's ready for joints here. And we just put it on the ground right now. That's good though. I'm gonna get out of here today. Be waiting for this concrete. I'm gonna grab my joiner, start joining away. Nice and flat, Ryan? Yes. All right. All right, that one is nice and straight. Surprisingly, since that was not really that easy to do. So on the news this morning, they said the rain we had yesterday was the first rain we had in 29 days. I said two months. I figured it 29 days. We had barely anything up there by us. Yeah. That little that little bit of rain didn't do anything, though. No, it was an all-day soaker, all-day and all-night. Yep. Give it a whirl. Not bad, Bugs. That's probably good. I think that's enough once he works it a little bit. Hey, look at Ray. He's caring for that like it's his brand new car. I think it's good, Bugs. Ooh. Nice job. Thank you. I thought Eric was the only one that knew how to drop bombs. One more time, Eric. Nice and, nice and slow. And then we're good. Joints are all in. I'm gonna jump on in just a minute. Other guys are cleaning up. Ryan, you can start spreading this around. Um, if you spread it like right on the edge here, you know, cause it's gonna be really thick concrete when we roll it up. Don't put it against the form, just keep it like a few inches away and you can put shovels all along and sprinkle, yeah. you know? And then there's a few deeper areas like right here, it's sunk in a little bit. Right here, it's sunk in a little bit. You can get rid of that concrete and then move the plywood and then move the plywood down. So in the morning, we're ready to rock right away. Ray, look, I put a little uh, Gatorade in there and look at it. She loves it. She was just gobbling it up. She's like, yeah, she loves Gatorade. Look at that. I gave her, well, that's still mostly water, but. She'll be all wired tonight. Yeah, right. <laughs> off the water. You'll be happier tomorrow when it's all done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you know what? You gotta get this done to get the rest of it done. Yep. Yeah. It just worked out this way because we had to stamp the patio, you know. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, we don't normally pour like this. Normally, we would have poured, you know, up to the corner of the house. Yeah, first man. pour and then second pour and we would have been out of here. But <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We got nice weather, so. Yeah. A little wet you guys are just waiting to finish these six little squares Francisco's finishing the face over there so the neighbor has something pretty to look at she was staring at my Gatorade bug 
she was staring at my Gatorade, so I gave her like that much. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna find a new name name for you. Cause he just walked in the. Where did he walk in the wet concrete? All oh, right there. I'm telling you, get in the corner. You just walked in the wet concrete, and then he walked in, and then he walked on here. Let the prince. What? You gotta have clean shoes. See what you did. You got a belt. You got a belt like a big, thick leather one. Give me the belt, man. Hey, you ain't too big for the belt. Don't look at me like that. Go in the garage. Yeah, look at that one. Snapper. You get the pink hat and the belt, dude. That's that's not me. Yeah, right. I don't have little feet. Look at that tiny foot. Let me see your tread. That's yours. Look. Look it. See the tread. That's you. That's you. Man. I don't know about that. I don't look like my tread. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get some DNA swabs over here. Get some DNA swabs. I know. Ray, Ray, Ray. You were actually walking this way with the concrete. So you stepped in it's the wet stuff. But here, look at it this way. How can he still deny it ain't his? When the tread matches perfectly. I don't, I don't have wet feet. Dude, that's like a... Uh, it's so dry. Well, they are now. It's so dry. <laughs> the thing I remember was the shuttle going down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I was in, gra I was in grade school. I was in sixth grade. Fifth or sixth, I can't remember. That was a big deal then. And Bug Bugs remembers Pearl Harbor. Yeah. <laughs> probably remembers probably remembers Abraham Lincoln taking one to the oh back. yeah <laughs> George Bugs. Washington's inauguration you mean I George Washington <laughs> <laughs> hey Bugs poured this concrete sidewalk for George Washington <laughs> that would be really cool yeah oh man what I'd like to do is take a victory tour to Washington D.C. to see the monuments oh crazy I've always wanted to see that. You mean like a victory sponsored tour? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, instead of going to Vegas, yeah. go to D.C. to see all the monuments and pay our respect. That'd be nice. Yeah. We're always busy in the summer, though. You know, you know what? I think, you gotta I think go there at I'll night go. for the... You can stay and run. You can run the crew, which will just be Ryan and Daniel, and the rest of us will go. No, I want to go, too. You and Daniel. You'll be yelling at Daniel so bad. <laughs> he would come and kick you. Pow! You know what he would say? Me and Danny have fun. You know what Danny would say? Don't forget who my daddy is. That's what he would say. He's da my daddy's gonna do this when he gets home. Pew! <laughs> Your tape measure just broke. Look at, look at. Oh! Oh! He wants the credit card. He wants the credit card. Oh, the credit card. Yep. You got to ask Ryan because Ryan took it yesterday. He hasn't returned it yet. Oh! I just kept getting text messages from the credit card company. Charge for this. Charge for that. Charge for this. It actually still works. Yeah, just keep it in the truck. Nice it's not really <clears throat> broken. You just have to roll it up manually like, like this. <laughs> 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 18 by 30. Broom left some boogers on the surface. But I'm coming back tomorrow. I'll show you guys those little <laughs> boogers that you see. They're not actually stuck to the surface. They just brush right off tomorrow. Which way to go? People get concerned about that. They're like, oh, you left that surface like that. It's, the surface is perfectly fine. It's just difficult to broom because I got the garage on this side, the fence on this side, so I can't get the angle of the broom head where I want it real low. So you tilt it up a little more and it's, it's picking up some of the cream and dropping it back off. But We'll clean it up tomorrow very easily. We're going to have a lot of little squares here tomorrow. We're going to pour to the corner of the step. Okay. First pour. All right, who's going to remember the stuff in the morning? Not me. Belt and staff. What was it? And something else. Soft cut. 
Soft cut saw. Power washer. Sledgehammer. Power washer. We're gonna have to put our heads together in the morning. We need a lot of stuff. All right, let's go. We're done. Let's go. Hey, you got the pink hat on the porch. Are you expecting some problems tomorrow? He probably is just leaving it out for tomorrow. I'll probably do something wrong tomorrow. <laughs> Were you just leaving it out for tomorrow? No. Yeah, so come on. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. We'll keep it handy. Two by fours or one? Oh, yeah, go get some two by fours here. Yeah, you guys are always after my money. Like, we need this. And we well, need we do that. need that. Yeah, here's 200. Watch out, watch out. It's my last. You guys are cutting into my Lamborghini fun for real. <laughs> I've seen you guys before. Really? No. Nah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> are you in the shop or are you a salesman? Uh, salesman. You look like a manager. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. Because if you were sanding all day, you won't be clean like yeah, that. Clean. Hey, let me get a card, man, because I need cement for too. Um, you want to just take a picture? Oh, picture of that? Yeah, I don't have any cards. But you can look me up. Look it up. Yeah. Victory. Okay. Yeah, okay. you should be able to. to you should like be able to. Third, fourth page yeah, Google. if you look in the dark web, you'll find us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. Yep. Wow, look at this body work. Did you use concrete on here? Yeah. It looks like concrete. Did you ever see on YouTube the guy that put bricks in there? Oh, it'll hold together. Yeah, if you put fiber mesh and some wire mesh in there, never fall out. A couple rebar. I'll see you in the morning. We'll be here, same place, same time. Yep.